Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Yikes. <laughs> I say yikes because I just clicked to today's day and it just, it's like yikes. Today is Tuesday, November 15th, the day adds up and reduces the number of five vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. When I say yikes, don't be discouraged because everything that's happening on this day is happening for our greatest good. I look and it's like a big T-square happening between the moon and Leo, the sun conjunct Mercury and Venus and Uranus conjunct the North Node and Saturn and Aquarius. So what's coming to mind when it comes to say the energies on this day is a lot of pressure, but pressure is good because I think of say Monday and Sunday where the energies was all rainbows and cupcakes, but it was hindering, it was enabling. I say it was enabling because when I looked at the energies of both those days, it's it, it created a false sense of security, a false sense of stability, a false reality. Or when I look at the energies today, the energies today is showing things for what it is. Like today is Tuesday and Tuesday is associated with Mars energy. And Mars is in retrograde. Mars has been in retrograde since October 30th and will remain in retrograde until, no, until January 2023, the first half of January. And since Mars has been in retrograde, the energies within the air has been so much more sensitive. A lot of people could find themselves feeling way more emotional than normal, where you feel like you could cry for any little thing and probably cry for any and every little thing. Mars energy is that fire. Mars energy is that bossed up energy. And that energy has slowed down to the point where it feels like it's not there. So it's like that masculine energy is not present to balance out the feminine energy so the feminine energy feels more overwhelming as far as I'm concerned observing this energy so with that aspect of it on this day it could feel like a dark night of the soul because of all the squares happening to the moon it's like the inner world doesn't feel safe to express itself the inner world doesn't feel safe to be itself that's the vibe that I'm getting with the energies within the day. And Mars is the ruler of the day. The day is associated with Mars energy. Mars is positively aspecting Saturn. So when it comes to say motivations, motivations having to do with groups, groups and humanity based things, they work. But Mars is also squaring Neptune conjunct Jupiter. So Mars is in a space where it doesn't want to allow intuition we're not we don't we don't trust intuition or we don't trust things that aren't tangible but to me it's not even because we don't trust it from personal experience it just is not willing to focus long enough to dive into that but what is what is safe is say saturn and aquarian energy saturn energy is traditional saturn energy is the past 
it's familiar, familiar energy. So Mars is in a space where, yes, it's slowed down. The motivation is slowed down to the point where we can feel ourselves lazy, gravitating towards what's familiar and what's safe. The day adds up and reduce the number five vibration. And with the day adding up and reducing to the number five vibration, that brings a lot of sudden and unexpected changes. And sudden and unexpected changes are a blessing like squares. If you have a bunch of squares in your chart, to me, that means that you have so much to offer. You have so much to share. Not saying that the people that don't have squares don't have anything to offer or share. It's just that if your chart is filled with a bunch of positive aspects, there's not a lot of muscle being built. There's not a lot of there, there's not a lot of muscle being built because there's not a lot of resistance. So for me personally, the things we go through helps us to be more relatable. It helps us to understand ourselves better. So say if a person's chart is full with a bunch of positive aspects, that's great and I'm happy for you and that's such a peaceful life. That's amazing. But a person could easily find themselves complacent in a situation where it's like they want more, but nothing has pressed their back against the wall to go after more. Or when I look at the energies in this day, it's that back against the wall, pressed up feeling. But with Mars in retrograde, it's like a back. A person might feel like their back is against the wall, but then there's nothing they could do about it at the moment. And the issue when it comes to nothing you could do about it at the moment, it could, a person could easily become hopeless and give up, but don't give up. Just use this energy. What comes to mind is say it brings me back to say when I was younger and I didn't own a car yet and certain like say I would ask say certain family members to give me a ride and they would straight up be like nah or if they do it would like rub it in my face that I don't have a car but I'm a teenager I'm a kid and in that moment it felt like there's nothing I could do about like the energy that they're bringing my way it's like they're coming at me in a way that makes me feel like it's like somebody flexing on you because they they're in a better position in the moment to flex on you. They appear to be in a better position in the moment. But with this energy, it's like they're flexing, but there's nothing you can do right then and there. But you allow for that experience to be a learning experience. You allow it to be a motivation because I look at the positive aspects being made between the sun conjunct Mercury and Venus and Scorpio, which is survival energy, positively aspecting Pluto, which is transformative, Neptune and Neptune conjunct Jupiter. So with this energy here, with the sun conjunct Venus and Mercury and Scorpio, sextiling Pluto in Capricorn and Pluto and Capricorn sextiling your Neptune conjunct Jupiter. This gives me that feeling of that person flexing on me in that moment and me making a mental note of it that this is not going to happen again or this ain't going to keep happening. Or this brings me back to when I was like, 16 and I was going to the Red Cross to become a CNA and I remember I would have to walk down this long road like it was a long ass walk like I would have to take the bus and then walk down a long road every day and while I walked down this road I would just think about how I'm gonna get a car think about how I'm gonna work and I'm gonna get a car and now every time I will walk like I would just hold that vision in my head. Like think about how I'm going to depend on me, how I'm going to change my life. Like those are the things that were on my mind. So there's an aspect to the day that brings that. So it's like you might find that something is challenging you or feels challenge you feel challenged or restricted and your back is pinned against the wall when it comes to something. So say I will call for a ride and no one could give me a ride. So I would take the bus, of course. But while I'm walking, I'm just fantasizing. You know, I feel some type of way. I feel a little salty that I got to walk. But like, 
Like I'm just fantasizing about the day when I get my own car. Like I'm just, it's like instead of letting the energy break me down, instead it makes me stronger. That's the vibe I'm getting from this day. There's something that's challenging you, but then there's a part of you that you feel like your back is pressed against the wall with something, but you don't allow it to defeat you. Instead, you start thinking about how how you could take control of your situation. And the sudden and unexpected changes could be someone said something. Someone said something or something opposes you away or you feel restricted or you feel controlled. And then you step into that warrior mode where you start saying, you know what, this can't keep happening. The day is the 15th and the number 15 adds up and reduces the number six vibration. The number one is the self. The number five is sudden and unexpected changes. The sixth aspect of the day deals with family community responsibility. But I think what's coming up when it comes to the sixth aspect of the day is the material side of the number six. The number six tends to define success based on material things, material growth. So this brings me to say me at the time thinking about not having a car and saying, when I get this car, what it's going to mean for me. When I make this money, what it's going to mean for me. So this is a day where we can find ourselves defining success based on material growth so this is the day where we could easily find ourselves feeling significant or feeling like a loser because we don't have certain things. And I've started over, I've started over a couple times in my life. And starting over meaning I have to build clientele from nothing and then become successful because I've built a clientele and I've done it a couple times. And each time and the first time was the hardest because the first time I wasn't, I didn't know what I could do. So I had to have blind faith where the other three times, the Bay, LA, back here, the other three times, it was easy because the first time I saw what I was capable of from the first time. The second time I see, okay, I'm capable of this. The third time I got this. The fourth time breeze. So the first time having to sit in a shop in Florida and watch other stylists crush it and feel like the weakest link when I'm coming from my hometown where I was crushing it really killed my ego. So as I rebuilt other times, the second time, same experience, but I had faith from the first time. The third time, same experience, but I had faith. The fourth time, crushed it because I learned from all of them. So when it comes to say this day, if you find yourself at the bottom or you're lacking or you don't have something, you got to have blind faith for the simple fact that you have this desire. The creator will help you manifest it. It's just a matter of trusting and letting go and allowing it to come to you. And also, too, on this day, it's easy to get distracted based on the shiny things around you to the point that you forget where you're coming from and what you're capable of and the things you've achieved. Something that I wrote down, a message that I wrote down for today is being vulnerable is scary. It's like jumping and not knowing if anyone will catch you. Your fears of being vulnerable might be the only thing stopping you from getting what you want. F it, just jump. Again, being vulnerable is scary. It's like jumping and not knowing if anyone will catch you. Your fears of being vulnerable might be the only thing stopping you from getting what you want. F it, just jump. So when it comes to say this day, you might find that this day helps to amplify something that you need to jump on, that you been need to jump on. And on this day, you might come to the realization that you know what? I'm ready to make a change in my life. I'm ready to change my life. And the card that comes up for the day is judgment in the reversal position. This is judgment in the upright position. 
when I look at the judgment card, the judgment card brings me back to the Bible stories of judgment day and God coming and deciding who will get to go to heaven and who won't go to heaven. And with the judgment card in the reversal position talks about not having faith, not believing that you're capable, not having faith in yourself. And for me, the first time when, like I said, I had to build up a clientele in a foreign place. I mean, I guess really the first time I built my clientele was back in Massachusetts where I grew up, but it was different because I grew up there. So, and I've been doing hair since I was like 12 years old or even younger, but let's just say 12 to be safe. I've been cutting my brother's hair, my cousin's hair, and my uncle's hair. Like I first started with barbering because my stepdad used to hold two mirrors and tell me how to cut his hair. And then eventually I got good at it. So there it was different because just for me wearing my hair, people would stop me and I would build clientele there. It just naturally happened. But here, I guess, yeah, it was the first time. But the energies with the day, blind faith is something that you'll have to build up when it comes to, say, the judgment card and reversal position. And the way you build up blind faith, if, faith, if it's your first time doing something, you need to keep records. My uncle taught me the importance of that when I first opened up the salon. He taught me the importance of keeping of like writing everything down. So I would write down every client that I get. And I know now you have computers to do all that. But for whatever reason, I liked writing it down. And even when I evolved to Square that kept track of all my appointments, I still wrote everything down by hand. But my uncle taught me the, taught me the importance of writing every client down, how much they tip, who are new, who, who who are new and who are repeating. And I would write all that stuff down. And of course, eventually I was introduced to technology that did all that, but I still do that. But now that helps me with blind faith because when I moved to Cali, I was able to apply that same approach that my uncle taught me. It was that approach that my uncle taught me that helped me to see, okay, during September, this is what happens with clientele. During November, this is what happens with clientele. So when I went to Cali, I still kept writing everything down. And it helped me to build up blind faith because sometimes it's easy to, for, it's easy to forget how much you're growing. But it's different when you can pull out your book and see, your, see the growth happening. After your first year, you see the growth happening. You see where what months aren't that great, what months are. But for you, it could be anything that you're doing. For me, I build blind faith by writing down my premonitions, just the same. I write down my dreams. And then when they play out, I'm able to go back to that book and look at the fact that I wrote that. And then I get super hyped because... I don't need to call somebody up and say, remember when I told you this or that? I'm able to pull my book out and I got a couple different books for different things. These are two and I have some more over there. Whatever is happening in my life, I have a book of book for it where I share my thoughts, my emotions, and I keep a record and that builds up my faith and my confidence. So that's something that might be beneficial for you on this day to build blind faith, to start keeping records of your premonition, your intuitions, your dreams, or for someone else, it might be your business, what you're doing with your business or your side hustle, because it was from those same records. I'm like, okay, I can move into a different direction in my life now. So building up blind faith is important with the just judgment card in the reversal position this day you could find yourself with your faith feeling broken. Something about faith feels like it needs restoring on this day. But like I said about me in the car situation when I was younger, if it's a situation where you feel hopeless and there's nothing you can do right now, let it be a motivating factor. Don't let it be something that defines you, overpowers you, or oppress you, let it be a, a reminder 
to make sure that it never happens again. Like jumping your warrior Mars energy, even though the warrior is on vacation right now. But make notes, make notes of how and what changes you need to make in your life to bring the peace that you need in your life, in your world. And when it comes to defining things based on material growth, deciding, oh, when I have this or have that, it'll mean I'm successful. Just keep in mind that with that energy, you'll never really be successful if you're defining your growth based on material things. Because the moment you achieve something, that thing starts losing value. The minute the car leaves the lot, it starts losing value. Depending on what's going on in the economy, the home starts losing value. And depending on, say, if you like if the home is an asset or a liability that could be a problem so things start to lose value instead if your success is determined on your spiritual and emotional growth instead of material growth then you keep growing and no matter what you lose you gain it all back easily because you're growing spiritually and emotionally and when i look at look back at myself when i built my clientele for the Sec the third or the fourth time, it happened so quick because I grew so much spiritually and emotionally. I had faith and I was patient and I believed in me and I saw what God could do. So reflect on those times for yourself when the creator came through for you. You guys, such a pleasure sharing this with you. If you'd like to get your natal chart read or book a tarot card reading, the link is in the description box below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a member on Patreon, that link is also in the description box below. If you're still here with me, I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know. By dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below, I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.